I've seen the question come up a lot on Reddit asking about arcade and or MAME ROMs. Where do they go? How do you set the right emulator? What if you want to mix versions? The answer to all these questions are coming up. Stick around. A trip to the ROMs folder that Emudec creates is a bit befuddling when it comes to arcade games. You have Arcade, MAME, MAME Dash, Advanced MAME, MAME MAME for All, MAME 2003, MAME 2010, MAME Current, FB Neo. Jeez, no wonder everybody's so confused. Why is this all so complicated? Let's start off with a bit of education on MAME versions and why you need to understand what makes them different. MAME, the multiple arcade machine emulator, started off in 1997. It only supported a few arcade game hardware platforms initially, but over time it gained more and more functionality. As with any other emulator, you need the arcade game ROMs, or the code dumps from the arcade, to feed the emulator. Over time, in many versions of MAME, the developers decided to change the way the ROMs were to be stored and read. This created a rift between ROM sets and versions of MAME. Up to 0.139 ROMs were ROMs. After that version, you sort of needed ROMs specific to a version of MAME, with some exceptions. This sort of explains why ROMs that work with MAME 2010 may not work with Final Burn Neo or MAME for All. The icing on the cake is that some versions of MAME required sound samples to augment missing audios from games like Donkey Kong or Star Trek. Depending on your MAME version and or ROM set, you may also need these sound samples put in the right place to get them working. The next question we need to answer is, why not just use the latest version of MAME that doesn't need samples at all? Final Burn Neo is an arcade emulator, much like MAME in that it plays arcade game ROMs. But what makes Final Burn Neo unique is that it is the only arcade emulator that allows you to earn retro achievements. These can be very exciting and fun additions to your arcade gameplay, driving you to unlock challenges and completions you may not have done before. So now we know why arcade emulation is rather convoluted, what's the solution? As with everything else on the deck, there's probably a dozen ways to handle any particular situation. I'm going to share my solution. I mentioned before that MAME for All used an older ROM set. I used to use extensively uh, on Android and other devices. I don't personally have a need for games past about 1990, so that all works well, outside of needing sound samples, which we'll cover in a minute. Most MAME for all ROMs seem to work rather well with Final Burn Neo, so I use these ROMs as a base install, copying them over to the arcade folder inside the Emudex emulation folder. Once I copy them over and reran deck, the arcade category appeared. Since I'm very concerned about retro achievements, I used the menu button and went into the main menu, other settings, alternative emulators, and set my default arcade emulator to Final Burn Neo. Now every single game I will run will default to that emulator core in RetroArch, and if the game has achievements, and the ROM I have works, <laughs> I'll be good to go. However, sometimes a game won't run well in Final Burn Neo. Sometimes the game in question isn't supported by Final Burn Neo at all. Sometimes you'll need to override the default emulator to launch with a version of MAME that that ROM supports, or supports better. Naturally, after you leave Final Burn Neo, you will lose retro achievement support if that game has it. When you come across a game like Stun Runner here that errors out when launching with Final Burn Neo, you can override that game's launch to point to a compatible version of MAME. This can take some trial and error, choosing MAME versions until you find one that actually works. If you find that none of them work, you probably have a bad ROM image and need to replace it. To change a game's emulator, highlight the game in the list to hit the View button on your deck. This brings up an Options menu. Choose Edit This Game's Metadata, then scroll all the way to the bottom, tap the right trigger to jump there faster, a little tip there for you, and choose Alternative Emulator. Now select one of the MAME cores you would like to try. MAME 2010 seems to work a lot for me, so start there. Now try the game again. If it works, great. If not, wash, rinse, and repeat until you get a solution that works. In this case, Stun Runner now works with MAME 2010, so we're good to go. 
The game didn't have achievements anyway, so there was no great loss leaving the Final Burn Neo emulator core. Now, continue testing your games and fix any games that don't run with Final Burn Neo. Perfect. Now let's move on to samples. Samples come in two flavors, old and new. You'll probably need the old ones if you're using Final Burn Neo, or you'll need newer ones if you're using newer MAME cores. In the old days of MAME emulation, the ROMs and samples were kept in the same directory structure with the emulator, but that's not how emudex slash retroarch works. For the Final Burn Neo core, copy your game sound samples to the emulation slash BIOS slash FBNeo slash samples folder on your deck. If you need samples for another core, like MAME, find the corresponding folder in the BIOS folder and copy the sound files to the sample folder within. Some games, even running under new versions of MAME, will still require samples. I'll provide a link to the samples you will likely need to get everything going. Common popular games that need samples might include Galaga, Asteroids, Donkey Kong, Gyroscorf, Wizard of War, and Zaxxon. This is not an all-inclusive list. So let's recap. We're going to solve our arcade game emulation headaches by using a single folder, arcade, to store our game ROMs. We're going to use a ROM set that matches our needs, older sets for Final Burn Neo and Retro Achievements, or a newer set for MAME without achievement support, and setting the system-wide default emulator to that emulation core. We'll test our games, either replacing the ROMs we know are supposed to work but aren't working, or changing the launching emulator for those that need a different core to run. We know how to put sound samples in the right place to ensure the games are working properly. That's pretty much it. Once you understand why things don't work and the various ways you can affect a fix, arcade emulation on EmuDeck isn't so bad. I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and do leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm Shane R. Monroe. As always, thanks so much for watching, and take care.